there are different stages of wounds as we classify them in medicine. Well, the first stage is stage one. So what is this stage one? Let's take a look at this. Well, this is a skin, all right? This little box here is represented by skin, and you can see some redness right over the surface. So in order to categorize a stage one wound, it's an intact skin with non-blanchable redness over the bony areas. So this area right here is the non-blanchable area so that when you actually push on it, when it means it doesn't blanch, that means it doesn't turn white when you touch it. Okay, that is the first stage of wounds. Now let's go to stage two. Stage two is known as partial thickness, loss of the dermis, or a shallow open ulcer with a red pink wound. So let's take a look at a stage two wound. As you can see here in the stage two wound, there's a partial thickness of the wound exposed, and you can see it's like an open ulcer. All right, so that is a stage two. The dermis is already being lost in stage two. That is the key characteristic. Now, let's take a look at a stage three wound. In stage three wound, we now have a full thickness of tissue loss, including subcutaneous fat, which may be visible. But the key thing is in stage three, there is no bone tendon or muscle exposure. So let's take a look. Remember the skin has the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous fatty layer, and then you reach the muscles and eventually the bone. So in stage three wounds, okay, so it's a full thickness. The full thickness, the epidermis, okay, is gone. We're down already to the dermis, and we're down to the yellow portion, which is the subcutaneous fat, okay? That is known as a stage three wound, okay? Now, now let's go to stage four. Now in stage four, we have a full thickness tissue loss with now bone exposed or tendon or muscle. Now the issue is there may be tunneling. Now what is tunneling? Let's take a look here. We've got the epidermis, the dermis, as you can see the yellow, the subcutaneous fat, and some of the muscle tissue is already being exposed, all right? So and also there could be tunneling. Now tunneling, as you can see in this demonstration, is that there's actually a hole that's forming a tunnel inside the wound. Okay, that's a stage four that could be causing a stage four wound. As you can see, that's a whole tunnel. So you wanna make sure that is not present when you're staging the wound. And also we have unstageable wounds which are basically a full thickness tissue loss in which the base of the wound is covered by a tan gray or a brown or black eschar. So this is representing a black eschar. That is not a stageable wound, okay? That is an eschar, a black eschar kind of forming right over the wound. That is known as an unstageable wound, okay? So now... We can also have finally a deep tissue injury. In a deep tissue injury, the difference is you've got a purple or maroon area of discoloration, intact skin or blood filled blister. So this is an example of a deep tissue injury. You kind of see some purple discoloration on the skin, but it's really, really deep, uh, but, we, but the skin kind of looks intact. So to kind of wrap it up, okay, this is all our wounds. We've got stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And this is how we classify wounds. If you like this video, please click the like button or also subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website, www.ftplectures.com. Thank you very much for watching. Again, it's Dr. Adishina. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.